So I'm sitting here this morning going through my emails and I come across this bill which is being proposed by, believe it or not, Mr. Padilla, Mr. Markey, Mr. Sanders, yes, Bernie Sanders, Miss Warren, and Mr. Blumenthal. And what it is to us truckers is this is uh, going to amend the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938, which is to remove, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm trying to show it to you. I'm reading it right off the page. Is to remove the overtime wages exemption for certain employees and for other purposes. Now, It doesn't say how this is going to affect the current Fair Labor Standards Act, but it says it's an amendment to it. Um, if they repeal the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938, that could be a bad situation for us drivers. Um, as you know, right now, that is what has us working, uh, 70 hours in eight days. That's, that's what, uh, determines our logbook. So if they repeal that, yeah, it'd be nice to get overtime. Okay. But if they repeal that, what is that going to mean? Because see, they put that into effect because companies were driving their drivers a hundred hours in four or five days and saying, hey, this load has to be from, let's say, Maine all the way down to Miami by, by two days from now. Okay, you've got to go now. Don't stop until it gets there. And so drivers were driving 24, 48 hours straight to get to to get loads where they were going and and they were being paid minimum i mean minuscule wages for what they were doing and and so uh that's why the fair labor standards act was put in place in 1938 was to uh ensure that drivers were not being treated basically like paid slaves this was this is all fair and good. However, um, there are issues with with this bill and with this Fair Labor Standards Act. Um, if this does not repeal what's already on the books, and this just adds like an amendment to it, this is a good thing. But if it completely repeals, which is what it says right here, is that Section 13B1 of the Fair Labor Standards Act of 1938, 29 U.S.C. 213B1 is repealed. So if it repeals that, that could be very, very bad. That could be very, very bad. So though I, though I can sit there and say, yeah, I think that um, how truckers are paid needs to be um, upgraded and it needs to be fixed because as a trucker, I can tell you when I drove over the road uh, and even when I drove regional, you know, uh, some weeks you drive 60, 70 hours and you're looking at 150 to $300 paycheck. And uh, way, way, making way, way below minimum wage. Um, and that was when I drove over the road 11 years ago. I mean, uh, so that hasn't changed. Everything else in the world has changed. Everything else in the world has been upgraded. But they, they haven't changed this. So... Could this be a good thing? Absolutely. If this 
if this just all it does is say, hey, after 40 hours, we have to pay you time and a half. That is absolutely a good thing. But let's not repeal the whole Labor Standards Act because this is this will shake up the whole industry if you do that because um, the industry right now either pays it pays in a couple ways. One, it pays by the mile, okay? With some companies paying for detention if you held at a dock for more than an hour or two or four, depending on the company. Uh, some companies paying for tarping, chaining, uh, securing the load. Some companies don't. Uh, uh, then there is... Then, then there is the, sorry, I got a text message and it's, it, it's throwing me off here, my thoughts. Okay, then there is uh, companies that pay a percentage of what the load pays. There, there are those companies, uh, how they get paid. Then you have straight hourly pay, and then you have, have uh, mostly union jobs that pay hourly with overtime, okay? Um, and then, of course, you've got, owner operators who get just uh they get to pay after brokerage fee is took out of it so there's several ways that you get paid as a trucker depending on the company and uh what you get paid okay um and you when you go through orientation with any company uh this is what they go they do go over that Okay, normally they'll go over that before you even come to orientation because some drivers like myself, uh, we're very particular about uh, driving for a certain way of pay. Okay, um, so this might be a good thing. This might be a bad thing. Um, if this is only adding an amendment uh which is uh, removing the the overtime wages exemption um i'm 100 percent behind this because drivers have not been paid enough for decades okay i mean this was made in 1938 so drivers have not been paid right since 1938 okay um if it just totally removes the whole freaking act, no, I can't get behind it. Um, even though it would help some people, uh, it overall would hurt far more than it would help. And, um, you know, we're overregulated now as truckers. We, we we really don't need more regulation unless it's to remove parts of the regulations, which has really been starving us out for the last 80 years. So, um, just wanted to come on and let you know that there are things being uh being uh proposed in congress and uh if you wanted to look this up yourself this is bill w i l two two three four five and it is being introduced by representative padilla padula padilla um mr P P P P padilla and I believe he's out of Maine or Massachusetts one. Um, and he is a Democrat. So um, he's being supported by Bernie Sanders, who is an independent now, um, who a lot of things that Bernie has put up, I'm 100% I'm behind. Uh, not to say that I am a Democrat. I'm more of an independent. And some of the things which he, which Mr. Sanders proposed, it, it made sense. Um not everything, of course, because even on uh, the Republican side of the House, some of the things they they propose 
I'm not behind either. So, um, but this one, if all it does is remove the exemption for overtime wages, yeah, I can be behind this 100%. So just wanted to come on and, and give you a little bit of that information today because I'm sure that a lot of you are, are, are not aware that this is going on behind the scenes right now. So um, there you go. Bicycle.